Yeah. Got to practice. It's too late when the game starts. Yeah. Right. It's too late when the game starts. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one of the lessons I learned was taught by my mentor at the Boys Club, now Boys and Girls Club, uh, Billy Thomas. I was running track and a new guy joined the team, Reginald Whitfield. And the coach could see how Billy could see I was out of character because mm -hmm. this guy was faster than me. He said, yeah, Denzel, he's faster than you, but he doesn't have the fundamentals. He doesn't know how to pass the baton. He doesn't know how to run the turn. Mm. He said, your natural ability will only take you so far. Right. Mm. And uh, by the grace of God, I realized I was given this ability to act and, 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 and direct and do these things. But I remembered my natural ability would only take me so far. So I knew I had to study more. I had to get deeper. I had to go to learn more. So that's what I did. And uh, it paid off. Just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle Just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like Bill Withers Until you smell the roses What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying You gotta practice on greatness Or practice towards greatness um, Shout out You know Great point of view by Denzel I'm going Like When I was younger People told me, you know, if you don't put the work in, you're not going to get anything. So, and we all have certain things that we can do better than other people or easier than other people. But we got warned about that, that same thing like, okay, so you can do that better than these people. So what? Because... If you if you if they can outwork you, they'll outproduce you. So if you want to be great, you gotta practice on it. And I'm gonna tell you, you know, that doesn't mean you have to be great in the practice. That just means you have to practice. And what I mean by that is some people, they used to call it gamers. Some people practice hard and it doesn't it is it looks like it doesn't click, but they're they're practicing, they're giving everything they got. And then when it's when the game shows up, all that hard work comes together, you know. But people, people saw their work ethic like, oh, they working on something. Oh, they, they working, they working, they working. Okay, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. I'm not saying that they don't do anything in when they practice. I'm saying you don't, they, you don't really see their full potential until the game goes out because they're working on this and then they're working on that and they're working on this. And then they use all of these things when, when the game starts. And I'm talking about the game, but also the game of life. Um... And I never forget, like, part of what he said about, you know, when you're acting out of character because you like somebody's better than you, and it's like, but they're not putting in the work. See, the issue that you have to, that you need to be afraid of is somebody who's got all the, the God-given talents but who has the work ethic of somebody who doesn't. That's a problem. That's somebody you, you who's going to give you I run for your money every time. But what you what you see in society is people who work a little bit or work for a short stretch, you know. And the issue with that is what? If some people practice until, you know, until they get what they want, then they got it and I'm done. You know, that that was their goal. And other people practice for for a short term, but other people practice for a long term. Now, I'm going to expound on it in this way. When I say the game of life, how many of us practice on being a better person? And, and that's what struck me about this scenario was the, a lot of us play in life like this in a sense of, I'm going to wait. Till I'm to I'm gonna wait till I die, to because that's when you know you know or, or near death. Now I'm gonna practice on being a good person. Now I remember Sinbad, the comedian, talking about this when I was younger, and my grandmother just started busting up laughing because he was like, you know, your parents are different when they become grandparents. I'm like, who is this person? And you know, it's like I got it. I figured it out. 
you know, when they're young, they mean. But when they're old, they're nice because they're trying to get in the head. And my grandma just bust up laughing. She's like, yeah, you know what? That's what we do. We, you know, we, we remember all that crazy stuff we did. Now, I'm, I'm, God, I'm going to be a good person. I'm practicing now. But some of us, you know, we're not fully practicing like we should. Um, another thing that goes on that, you know, a lot of times we don't talk about is this. Is at the end of the day, a lot of us can't practice on being better people because we're satisfied. We're satisfied in who we are at the moment. You know, that's all we want it to be. <coughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm getting sick, y'all. But what wound up happening is this. Um, <coughs> if you practice on being a better person, then that's who you become. They, they, they talk about that, 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 what is that? It's that quote where, um, who do you feed more? Do you feed the, 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 the good in you or the bad? And that's practice, you know? And some of us, you know, we feed, and I hate to say this, but we got to get there. Some of us practice on being lazy. See, laziness is not a, a inherent thing. It's something that you practice, that you work at. And laziness becomes a part of your life because you've put in the work to become lazy. So now everything you do is lazy. And then you see somebody who's working hard, and it's like, I, I couldn't do that. I would never do that. It's because you're 10 toes down in the practice of, of, of laziness. Um, and don't get it twisted. Um Hardworking people sometimes want to be lazy, but there's no payoff in it for them. So what are you practicing? Are you practicing greatness? Sometimes uh, I don't want to do it, but sometimes we're practicing out of spite, kind of like what Denzel was talking about. He saw the guy was better than him. He got out of character. So I'm I'm practicing because now I know this person can't run the curve and they can't do the baton and they can't do this and they can't do that. So I'm banking on the fact that I'm going to be better than you. You my rabbit. If y'all don't know what that means, like if, if you see a greyhound, greyhound race or a race at a racetrack with greyhounds, they put a rabbit on the thing. So they, they, they're they chasing a rabbit on the track. So, you you know, a front runner, somebody, you know, if in track people call a person a rabbit, the person that gets out the fastest. That's that's the bar that you you're chasing. So, when it comes to greatness, it's the same thing. You know, some people are the rabbit. Now, I gotta say this because if you're practicing on greatness, your imagination has to go with you. Because what if you're the what if you work to be the best where you're at? Now you gotta imagine the people who are better than you where you're not at. Because if you're willing to do all these things to be great, what do you think people that you don't know that have the same mentality are willing to do? You know, you're going to eventually uh, uh, meet. So, are you practicing for that interaction? Kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, if you watch Netflix, you watch Baki. Him and his father, Baki was using his imagination you know, I got to fight this person. He was he was imagining things, you know, to push himself. And that's what people do. But I'm going to leave it at that. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to tell you that.